Hey everyone. I know last week I was losing my voice and this week I think I'm getting a cold so you'll have to excuse me if I lose my voice halfway through. And I had said that I wanted to discuss how I can help save the average family some money and I want to do that. But I want to take a quick minute to emphasize the importance of this project in the hustle and bustle of our super commercialized, busy, name brand important life we live. It is too often that our children are rushed. They are rushed to become independent, they're rushed to make the next milestone, and why is that? It is what's ingrained in us from the beginning. When we start this journey into parenthood, we receive everyone's opinions. Everyone has a friend who did this one thing with their child that made them be in bed, sleeping for the night at two weeks old, add cereal to their bottles, it'll fatten them up and they'll sleep better. Once a child is old enough to ask for their breasts, they are way past the point of being too old to breastfeed. You shouldn't breastfeed in public because someone might see you. If your child is teething, you have to give them ibuprofen, and if your child has ear infections constantly, you need to keep pushing the antibiotics. Doesn't the list just go on and on? We are constantly bombarded with these crazy stories, and we are pushed into this endless competition to be these super parents. But in reality, how many of you feel, at the end of making one of these decisions that you were pushed to believe, you have succeeded and done what you, personally, in your heart would have done? What if you had the support and education to know that everything we do, as mom, dad, caregiver, whatever we can do, is what is super to our kids? But more so, what if we had the knowledge backed by many studies to show what is the appropriate time to wean a child? Should we add cereal to a bottle? Is it normal that my child is breastfeeding 24-7? Why is this happening? No one said it would be like this. Okay, okay. I've seen these questions over and over again from frightened parents in the plethora of my mom's groups I'm in. And thank God for the age of Facebook, right? Because having a place for it to ask these questions for most moms is a wonderful thing. But there is a serious need for parents to have a place to come and talk, to join a support group, to learn that it does take this village but that you are in control of your child's life and no one else. You know what is right for your child and your family. You can have a place to take classes that pertain to your family's needs and desires, and how cool and beneficial would that be? Furthermore, it is our main plan to sell items that connect with the planet. After all, our planet is for our children, and what better way to preserve it than by starting with the youngest members of it? That being said, I know that many people don't care all that much about whether their footprint on this earth is big or small, but I want to tell you that by saving the environment with your children, you will also be saving money for yourself and your family. The average cost of raising a child today from birth to age 18, so no college ladies and gentlemen, is over $241,000. For most of us, that is double, triple, even quadruple what we make in a salary. Maybe more. How much more? So if that's true, and we still have bills to pay, how many families will survive? How many families are going without food tonight? How many dads are saying they're full so their children can have more, while in reality they're lying in bed at night, listening to the sounds of their grumbling deli tummies? <laughs> Let me tell you, for a minute, just forget about the eco-friendly aspect. Think of your pockets. On average, a disposable diaper costs 36 cents. 36 cents for the cheapest diaper you could find. Multiply that out. You're looking between $1,200 and $1,500 per year. The average cost of cloth diapers? $300 total lifetime and guess what you can sell them back at the end of, of that lifetime and you can make back at least half so we're talking hundred and fifty dollars here people that being said many of you are saying but the cost of laundry I don't have a washer in my apartment and I'd have to bring them to a laundry mat okay so let's look at that too the average energy cost for people who do diapers in their home is hundred and seventy dollars total total I'm talking 30 months here not a week not a month not even a year or two 30 months so tack that on. You spend $30 in diapers and accessories, plus another $170, you're still spending less than half if, what, if you had bought disposable diapers. Compare that to the $0.36 cents per diaper, you're looking at $0.20 cents per diaper change on average. That's including your washing. Now we're talking $0.36 cents is your cheap diaper, right? Multiply that out, you're talking a tank of, ga of gas a month that you'd be saving by switching to cloth diapers. Even if you do have to go to a laundromat, there is no way you'd spend more than $100 a month washing diapers. And if you are, there are other options. You should remember that, wa that cloth diapers are better to left out to sun dry, so you're not paying for dryer time. I think I've said enough for tonight, because I don't want to bore you all and keep you from your busy hustle bustle lives. But next week, I'll have some new exciting information for you about this business project, so stay tuned. Good night, Moon. Good night, YouTube. Good night, everybody everywhere.